Good evening, I'm Emma Carr, filling in for Will McAvoy. Welcome back to the Daily Political Roundup. Buckle up, because things are getting spicier than a Carolina Reaper pepper in Washington, D.C. We've got political maneuvers, funding wars, and even a controversial interview brewing. So grab your metaphorical popcorn and let's dive in. President Biden is playing it low-key this Super Bowl Sunday, skipping the traditional interview. Some say it's a strategic move to avoid the spotlight, while others worry he's letting the not-in-control narrative fester. Either way, it's a political fumble. Speaking of fumbles, the bipartisan border deal is teetering on collapse. Republicans are throwing up roadblocks, leaving both sides pointing fingers and the nation's security hanging in the balance. It's like watching a game of Jenga with the foundation crumbling. Meanwhile, Nikki Haley is raking in cash from college-educated donors, but her appeal seems limited. Think fancy suburbs and Acela corridors, not rural heartland. While she's doing well in South Carolina, the national picture paints a different story. Looks like she's got to broaden her base beyond the latte crowd. Senator Fetterman isn't buying the House GOP's cheap and meaningless Israel aid bill. He sees it as a political ploy to separate aid for Ukraine and Israel. And frankly, we can't blame him. This whole situation is like trying to untangle Christmas lights messy and frustrating. And in a move that'll have tongues wagging, Tucker Carlson is set to interview Vladimir Putin. This is the first time a Western media personality will chat with the Russian leader since the Ukraine invasion. And let's just say the internet is buzzing. Will it be a softball interview or a hard-hitting exchange? Only time will tell, but buckle up for some fireworks. That's all the time we have for today, folks. Remember to like and subscribe for more political shenanigans. And hey, if you have any thoughts on these spicy stories, leave a comment below. Until next time, keep calm and keep informed.